Hi, uh, it's Antilla Quacks here again. Uh, today we're just going to do a, a nice little algorithm which um, uses a very simple way to add two numbers. Um, I just found this um, when I was reading about Giuseppe Piano who was a 19th century Italian mathematician. So it's, it's another good example of a, a function that uses a recursive definition which I just think is quite interesting. So it takes two numbers um, and it returns the sum of those two numbers. So what you've got to imagine is that we've got a computer that only understands how to add and take away one. So what we've got to try and do is write a program that will enable it to actually add larger numbers together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print a little string uh, here, um, or a little line anyway. Um, And you'll see hopefully what that means as we're going through. So if you imagine um, that you've got say two piles of stones uh, and you want to find out how many you've got all together but you're not very good at counting, what you could do is um, you could move the stones one by one from one part to the other and then one you've got zero none left in the in the first pile you know the second pile holds the, the total. So that's the way this actually works Another way of just of looking at it is that um, the computer's trying to simplify what it's got to do with these recursive calls. So if you pass it something like 4 plus 5, it says, mm, well, that's a bit difficult. So it starts simplifying it uh, until it gets down to something that's, that's easy enough, um, or it's actually already done in this case, as you'll see. So we've got to put in something called a base case, uh, which is the first line that you see there. So if x is 0 then we're finished. There's no stones left in the first pile so we can return y. That's the answer. If that isn't the case though we need to return uh, we need to, the result of piano of x minus 1 so we're taking 1 from that first pile and x plus 1 sorry y plus 1 so we're adding 1 to the second pile. Um, so basically it's simplifying the sum it's got to do. So if, to go for that example of, of 4 plus 5. It's saying, oh, 4 plus 5, that's a bit hard for me. Let's try um, 3 plus 6. Mm, still a bit hard. Then it goes to 2 plus 7. Ooh, still can't manage that. 1 plus 8. Ooh, can't manage that. Um, and then finally, we've got 0 plus 9. Well, we're done. So it solves the problem by making it easier each time until it's something that's actually already done. And that's one of the power, that's the power of a, of a recursive uh, function often. So I'm going to put in this little line that I had before. If name is the same as main, I just like to have that in there sometimes because it means if I want to just test out my function, I can do that without running the whole program. Uh, I'm going to print piano edition. Um, I'm going to ask for two numbers. I'm going to just change them to, it, to integers straight away. Uh, without any checking, because this is just a simple program that, that is just to demonstrate this algorithm. I'm not really expecting any any kind of bogus entries. And then I'm going to take a second number in. Don't know why I gave that capital N. Let's get rid of that. Um, and then all I need to do is print the result of my function. So let's give that a try. So if it asks me for my first number and I say 4, it asks me for the second number, that's 5. So it's going to go through, like I said, well, 4 plus 5, a bit hard. Let's try 3 plus 6, mm, still can't manage that. 2 plus 7, no. 1 plus 8, mm, you know. Uh, 0 plus 9, okay, we're done. So. That's how uh, that recursive algorithm uh, works. Now there is one little problem with uh, recursion, which is that you can quite quickly get into a situation where you're trying to ask the computer to do something that's that's a bit much for it. Um, 
and I was just playing around with this before, so if I try to do piano of 996 um, and let's whatever 10, um, what will happen now I'm pretty sure is that we'll get an error. So let's just try running that. Oh hang on a minute, I didn't want to do that, I thought I'd saved it. <laughs> Sorry, let's just stop that. So I'm going to just save that. Um, in fact, I'll run it like this. So if I just say that I want to go for 996 and 10, I'm getting a problem, I'm getting an error, but it's too deep for Python to cope with. Um, so that is one of the, the problems with uh, recursive functions, is that they can take up uh, a lot of resources, and that one actually has sort of gone beyond what Python can cope with. So you have to be careful when you're using recursion not to not to sort of create a situation where your program will break but you know this is just a demonstration we wouldn't really use this for uh, for adding two numbers together obviously but it, it does demonstrate uh, that that method and that interesting algorithm okay that's all for today